There's so much wisdom. In the William Coleman Blackmore says he grew tired of racism in America, where he was born. So last year, he and his mother joined the thousands of black Africans who've moved here to Ghana in the last decade or so. He wants to learn about African history and culture at sites like this, the mausoleum of Ghana's independence leader, Kwame Nkrumah. And he's hoping to learn more here. He's come with his mother to the launch of a new museum. They are heirs to a long tradition. Which its creators say will look like this. It's called the Pan-African Heritage Museum. This is a digital version which has been published online. The physical museum is due to open in Ghana next year. It'll exhibit art and historical artifacts from all over Africa. It's like everything that I didn't know was out is now in front of me and I'm seeing it and I know that like we have access to it now. Because a lot of that stuff was lost. Well, I won't say lost, but we didn't know about it. Ghana has a rich history, some of it violent. For hundreds of years, enslaved Africans were imprisoned by Europeans here at the Cape Coast Castle before being shipped to the Caribbean and the Americas. It's a history that attracts many visitors, including African Americans retracing their ancestral roots. This river was the site of a slave market. It's where captives are said to have bathed for the last time before being shipped across the Atlantic Ocean. It can be painful to think of the suffering and injustice that happened here. And for centuries, historical records of what happened have been dominated by the West. It's something the museum's founders hope to change. They say it'll help people of African origin and everyone else to unlearn and relearn historical narratives and discover forgotten African heritage. It is supposed to give us a sense of pride to understand that Africa didn't start with the slave trade. Uh, there were kingdoms of the Western Sudan, uh, Mansa Musa and so and so forth. I, I, did, I did not learn that in school. I read it after university. William says his ancestors were enslaved in West Africa. He plans to take a DNA test to learn more. And he hopes the new museum and his new life in Ghana will help him to rediscover and celebrate his family's roots. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.